G'day. It's time now for us to look at non-monic quadratic equations, at least to factorise them. What is a non-monic quadratic? Well, a monic quadratic is one that says mono, meaning one, it's one x squared. If we have any number except one in front of the x squared, this is called non-monic. It's a non-monic quadratic. This is non-monic. And factorising them is a bit more difficult. Now, I'm going to produce a few videos on how to do this. And the first one, this one, is going to look at the cross method, which is very traditional, and it's the method I was originally taught at school, and still many teachers will teach, and uh, some of the students I encounter still prefer, because it's methodical, they get to see everything on paper, but it is laborious. Let's have a look at it. We draw our cross on the side of the page and first we try to find what combination of numbers will give us, or what combination of expressions will give us 7x squared. And I think you can see the only combination is 7x times x because 7 is prime, meaning that it is only equal to 7 times 1, 7 times itself. So we have no choice, it's got to be that combination which means we're going to have a 7x times an x here. We can tick that. We can check that off. That's done. Now, the number on the end, negative 3, how do we get that? Well, 3 is prime, but we have a minus sign to take account of. And here's how it's slightly different with the cross method now, from the monic versions. We know that minus 3 times plus 1 will give us the minus 3. But because these are different, putting these in a different order, a 1 up here and a minus 3 down here, puts them in a different combination. Instead of the minus 3 being with the 7x now, the minus 3 is down with the x. So these are different. 7x minus 3 times x plus 1, or 7x plus 1 times x minus 3. Because these are different, we have to try the combinations both ways around. Now, that's minus 3 times 1. We've also got to try plus 3 times minus 1 in both orientations. Now, we're very fortunate that it's not a number like 6, where we have a second combination of 2 times 3, as well as 6 times 1, or even worse, 24, which would be 24 times 1, 12 times 2, 6 times 4, and 3 times 8, and we'd have to try all these various combinations of plus and minus signs. It's quite tedious, but it is very methodical and students like to see everything listed out. Anyway, what we've achieved here is that all these products will give us the negative 3. So the reason the cross exists is we're checking out a combination that will give us plus 4. Now again, I haven't really tried this. Actually, it's not going to be the last one this time. Let's have a look. We want plus 4x. 7x. 7x times 1 is 7x, minus 3x, we got it first go. 7x minus 3x is 4x. So we don't need these other ones. And our factors are, we can put parentheses here, 7x minus 3 and x plus 1. There it is, factorised. Now, I will say that some people don't like to go straight to the factors. Some people will go from here down to this expression where they'll leave the 7x squared, they'll write the minus 3 over here, and they will write the minus 3x and the plus 7x in here. Now, it really doesn't matter which way around you do them, the answer will come out the same. Uh, I'll write it the way I said, minus 3x plus 7x because that combination gives us the plus 4x. All they're doing is replacing that. And then, because we now have four terms, we factorise by uh, grouping them in two. Now these two, what do they have in common? Well, obviously no number is in common, except one, which is redundant, but they have an x in common, so let's take the x out. This is x times 7x, 
This is x times negative 3. And then we move to the last two. Well, these have absolutely nothing in common except 1. So I will take the 1 out. 1 times 7x is 7x, and 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And these should be exactly the same. And since I have x lots of this, and plus 1 lot of that, I have x plus 1 lots of 7x minus 3, which you can see is the same product. The order really doesn't matter, so x plus 1 times 7x minus 3. Some like to go straight to this, to this uh, binomial product form, and some like to go through the process of factorising like that. It really doesn't matter. The cross helps you unlock both. Uh, personally, I prefer just going to this. I like speed. But um, some people like the process, and they like to be confident they've factorised it properly. So that's entirely a matter of personal preference. Now let's look at this one. We're talking the cross method, and here's where the cross method becomes even more tedious and difficult. To get our 14x squared, we actually have two combinations, because 14 is a composite number, and because of that, we have to create a cross for each composite. So, I have to create a cross for 14x times x, and another one for 7x times 2x, because I'm not sure which combination is going to work. Now, in both, that, both these combinations will give us the 14x squared. To get the minus 5, we can, fortunately 5 is prime, we can multiply minus 5 times 1, and we've got to try it in reverse combination as well. And plus 5 times minus 1, and do that in reverse. And fortunately, that's all we need to do. But we've got to try the same combination down here. Minus 5 times 1, and 5 times minus 1. I'm just getting ready for the answer now. Now... The minus 5 is taken care of. We know that all these combinations will multiply to give minus 5. Only one of these combinations, it might be here, it might be here, only one of them will give minus 33. And this is where we search. Let's have a look. 14x minus 5x certainly won't. Goodness, minus 70. That's 14 times 5 is 70. Minus, not within range at all. Uh, here we've got minus 14 plus 5. Well, that's nowhere near minus 33. And here we've got 70 again. This is not going to work. So nothing is relevant there. It's going to be one of these combinations. Let's have a look. 7x minus uh, 2 fives, 10. 7x minus 10x is minus 3x is negative, but certainly not in the right direction. Here we have minus, oh, this is good. 7 times minus 5 is minus 35x plus 2x. Minus 35 plus 2, minus 33. That's the combination we want. That one. Not these on the end. We've, you can check them out, but they won't work. Only one combination works, and we've found it. There's our 2x minus 35x. So, 7x plus 1 and 2x minus 5. And that's the cross method at work. Some people love it, some people swear by it, and if you happen to be one of them, uh, I hope you've understood the process, that we use crosses, the, the combination of numbers at the beginning to give us the first term, the combinations of numbers at the end to give us the last term, and then we experiment with all the combinations to get the right one in the middle. And as I say, this is what I was taught in school many years ago. So it's been around a long, long time. I'm not going to do any more. 
I hope that's made sense to you. There really is nothing more to say about it. It just gets more difficult if you had a number in front like 24 or 48, which had lots of combinations, you can end up with quite a few crosses down the page. Um, sometimes there are hints. The number in the middle, if it's even or odd, or sometimes if it's a certain size, you might decide, well, I won't try one particular combination. For example, if this was odd, and both the numbers here were even, you know that you're going to get an even number and an even number. There's no way you're going to get an odd number in the middle. So I wouldn't even try an even combination. But that's sophisticated stuff. Uh, if you write to me or leave comments to the effect that you would like more detail like that, I'll produce a video on it. But for the moment, that's the basis and I encourage you to practice it. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you're not already, already a subscriber so you can learn about other videos that are coming. Uh, I am going to sh solve similar quadratics, perhaps even the same ones, solving the P using the PS method and my little quirky variation of it, and I hope you enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching.